breaking news on this, and this is what we know with the Dow Jones Industrials up 156 points. Hillary Clinton may have the edge on Bernie Sanders in the national polls right this second, but they are fighting to break free of a dead heat among voters aged 18 to 49. That, of course, is the segment of the population that carries the most student debt, and the Democratic candidates are tailoring college plans to win that support. Since taking the helm at Washington College last fall in Maryland, former FDIC Chair Sheila Baer decided, you know what, I'm going to institute a one-year tuition freeze for entering students. She is calling for fresh approaches to reducing the student debt burden and controlling college costs. She's here first on Fox Business. Uh, freezing college tuition at, at what price? Uh, well, it's a, and this is standard for smaller Blorids colleges. It's 55,000 tuition in room and board. Oof, so, I'm seeing yeah, stars. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you multiply well, that yes, by four years. Yes, we're right in range for you know, a school of our size and ranking. Uh, but yeah, it's high. It's been going up uh, nationwide uh, relentlessly for well, years. And you made college affordability a real centerpiece it is. Of, what, big of what you're doing. But yes. that puts you in a good position to assess the reality or not of yes plans that are out there right now. That's I mean, look, right. Bernie Sanders says, and he's getting a ton of traction for this, right. free college for all, right. $75 billion a year would cost the government and right. a few other tweaks that he would do. Yeah. Is something like that a possibility or a pipe dream? Yeah. Well, maybe we talk, you know, I, I hate to endorse or, 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 or comment on specific plans, but maybe just talk about the concept of free education and some of the approaches that I think might, might be helpful. I think you know, part of the problem is there's no price discipline because it's been so easy for kids to get loans to pay for tuition. So schools, and actually the New York Fed has done a pretty interesting study on this showing that the easy availability of student debt has created upward uh, pressure on, on tuition prices. So kind of going all in on that model and just saying it's free, <laughs> you know, how much is that going to cost? Where will the price discipline be at all? Uh, if, it, if it's just for public education, it's free. So I think, you know, what incentives would the schools themselves have to deliver quality to constrain cost if the taxpayers It's almost like it, it could be the, the new health care model where well, you add yeah. millions of people and there isn't a lot of money to get better right. professors and quality infrastructure. But yeah. look, uh, you know, they say the road to hell is paved with good intentions. <laughs> Student well, loans had good intentions yes, of helping poor kids. Yes. It has turned into a total nightmare in yeah, my it opinion. Really has, it it yeah. seems like it's sends a signal to universities, people will kill yeah. to get a college education so we can just raise prices yeah. far outpacing yeah. Yeah. The inflation yeah. of 2%. Oh, absolutely, yes. And wage growth has been flat, but these kids, you know, they're, they're paying higher and higher tuition, they're borrowing more and more to pay for it, and they graduate, they have, have all this debt, and the, way, you know, the, the wages that they're getting has not gone up well, so uh, what do we do? at all. Well, I, I think there's a, first, I mean, colleges need to seize uh, some leadership here. Don't wait for, I think there's a lot of things the government can do too, but I think colleges, and I, we're not the only ones, a, a lot of colleges are focusing on affordability. We decided to freeze tuition. We've launched two major uh, fundraising campaigns uh, centered around scholarship support, so there's more philanthropy to support school, uh, kids going to our uh, school as opposed to having to borrow money. Uh, we're trying to be more efficient, uh, taking a hard look at our non-faculty costs, our administrative costs. You've seen, again, colleges throughout the country. That's really where the growth is. But been. Norway, Sweden, yeah. Yeah. they do it. Yeah. Uh, Germany is starting to dip its yeah. toe in the water of offering yeah. free public right. education. Yeah. Yeah. It, is it heading to that? And, and again, I'm telling you, Bernie Sanders yeah. is getting yeah. some real attention Well, no, this. I'm sure. And again, it's, it's, it's well intended. And, and maybe free is better than $1.3 trillion of student debt. Yet, but somebody's still going to be paying for that, and I think you need to look at the quality and the outcomes that we're giving young people. So, too. Who, who, who's the demon here? Yeah. The student loans, yeah. or the universities who took the roof off of college? I don't. Costs you know, I, I, th I think I don't know if there are demons, but I think these uh, student loan programs were very well intentioned and not very well thought out. So there was really no discipline or accountability among the schools in terms of getting this largest uh, through how about, how these easily this? available student loans. What if loans. we made? University three years. Yeah, well, that's a possibility. I mean, certainly if you're only three or four, you're going to have to. It's going to be less expensive, and so and there are some programs that that go there. I think other degrees really require four years, and I don't. You know, we rush our young people so much to kind of force them into a three-year track. Uh, if students, you know, schools should try to facilitate that, but to make it the norm. I don't know. You know, I, I think there are alternatives to what we're doing now that have bipartisan appeal. Uh, for instance, uh, some uh, when the loans are repaid, make that based on income, some percentage of income, as opposed to a flat. Just cut them to what auto loans are, 2.5%. Well, <laughs> well, that's a, pro a lot of these kids are paying above market interest rates.
But uh, Jeb Bush actually had a very interesting plan to kind of dramatically simplify all this, create a $50,000 line of credit instead of loans, and then you would repay that based basically 1% of your income per 10000 that you borrow. You could do it for liberal arts colleges, you could do it for graduate school, you could do it for occupational training, you could do it for apprenticeships. It would be available for everybody, and then the, the, the uh, repayment would be based on your percentage of income, which would, for the kids that are opting into you know, teaching or, or professions that may not pay a lot, uh, it would decrease stress on them. And I think there are Democrats who have a lot of sympathy for that approach, too. That would help. And but then, you, you just got to be realistic, yeah. so, though. Well, you do. That's very true. That's very true. Sheila Bear, yeah. FDIC chair, former, and uh, now head of Washington College. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for, for freezing, for yes, freezing for tuition, <laughs> 55 grand. Oh, my God. Yeah, still high. <laughs> oh, my God. My kids are still too young. I can't imagine what it's going to cost. Thank yeah, you. You're welcome. System